FAX means Future Automotive Cockpit and Storage. And basically, with this project, we decided to embrace the challenge of designing the future interiors of uh, light commercial vehicles, also known as LCVs. There are a lot of innovations for private vehicles, a lot of innovation in the autonomous driving also, but very few that concern the interiors of the cockpit of the light commercial vehicles, although it represents a large population, a large uh, range of customers. So for this project, uh, we discussed with, uh, with Stellantis at the beginning to, to set up uh, a team, uh, different partners, and after making the briefing, we say, okay, let's work on it. And we started. Today's light commercial vehicles often propose a ton of options and it can turn overwhelming. In this project, we identified five key user profiles representing our customers and we thought about how a modular cockpit could better fit their needs by proposing specific cockpit configurations according to their profile. For example, the people buying a van as a shuttle have quite different expectations of the vehicle from those using it to do camping. The big advantage with autonomous driving is to gain time to do other activities, okay, such like walking, making a phone call to your friends, to your family, checking your next mission brief for, for your next stop. So, in FAX project, we focused on designing the interior cockpit that is suitable for workers in a context of level 3 or 4 autonomous driving. As a, as a design uh, part of the project, um, we, uh, we focused on three things which had to be seamless between them. Um, we were involved in initial studies. Um, from this, we generated concepts. Uh, in form of sketches uh, done in a, a team between uh, SAYA and, and ISAT using teachers, students and professionals. Uh, and then from this it moved into the design part which was more of a visualisation and the realisation of certain aspects of the interior. Um, the nice part of it uh, was uh, the initial studies where we actually had to go and speak to the, uh, uh, the drivers, um, see actually how they use the space um, spend the day with them, um, see about their drinks, the food, the, uh, the activities, the, the products they put into the space. So this information was uh, all gathered up and we tried to find modes in the, uh, in the work so that we can uh, um, focus on different aspects of the interior to make uh, solutions. With commercial vehicles, you really have potential of economical gain because it's time, time is money, and during the day of your work in the vehicle, uh, being able to do other activities will allow you to be uh, more efficient economically for your company. So there is a huge potential in investing in the design of cockpits uh, of LCVs. Uh, style and mechanical engineering uh, have been working very closely uh, and in a very iterative way of developing these uh, dreams that are being carried out to until the prototype but with all the maturity associated with all the technical features. We had um, um, uh, drawings from, uh, from sea moulds with uh, about the van, so we had the general dimensions, and then we had to convert our sketches, um, which are rather sort of rough, uh, into these spaces. Um, the the, the mock-ups and the models that we made uh, in our workshops downstairs uh, were towards the end of our intervention. Um, they were a scale uh, mock-ups, so we could actually interact with them in a, in a sense of reality. Um, that we could see the ergonomics and uh, the, uh, the, the distances and the surfaces and things on the, uh, on the objects themselves. I asked the team to get a very constrained approach um, with safety and technical requirements that are very constraining because I did not want us to reach to a concept car. The idea is really to get a cockpit that we can industrialize in a short term. So it means maturity, 
and also technical accuracy and requirements completely fulfilled. And this is, this is critical for, for these customers especially because they have specific expectations of the cockpit of the future. So to this extent, we worked very closely with Stellantis product marketing team from the beginning to, to get a real accuracy in the design from the initial studies to the final prototyping. And to do this, we used a Peugeot Boxer X250 body and white as reference for all our buildings, all our creations, so that we are working in an environment that is measured and that is with all the technical constraints of a real vehicle. Uh, our ambition with FAX was to design uh, a future cockpit uh, and ensure feasibility, uh, ensure short time to market uh, and very disruptive solutions. To achieve uh, the phase of prototyping we had to involve uh, a lot of teams, different teams from style, from engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, and also we embedded uh, uh, also a layer of UI UX design. Fax project, it's a complete cockpit. It goes from door panel to the roof storage to the dashboard. We thought about a complete cockpit because everything is essential in the design of the interior and everything is complementary for uh, the fulfillment of the expectations of the customers. The, uh, the briefing at, at the beginning uh, was quite clear about uh, the, uh, the, the problems in current vehicles. Um, this was um, um, given to us uh, uh, as a design team and we actually focused on those, uh, those problems. Of course we had uh, some freedom because uh, our intervention uh, on inside the cockpit um, had focus areas about the dashboard, the door, the roof and uh, uh, other elements that we could actually store things inside the space but uh, the actual um, inspiration came from the user um, and uh, we actually implemented that uh, to create solutions for, for potential and new users. Uh, so we started with uh, several studies uh, regarding uh, architectures for the, these modules that we were developing and with many iterations with style teams, engineering teams, developing with VR, with uh, CAD, with uh, prototyping and achieve uh, the best solution that uh, we dreamed of. We sought to transform accessories into solutions for OEM production line. FAX Modwork Cockpit allows to easily change significant dashboard parts to answer the different needs of the LCD customers. Optimized processes were not only studied at CMOLs but also on the Stellantis factory line to evaluate OEM production constraints and identify opportunities of improvement to implement in the product design itself. Uh, we used uh, a lot of uh, VR models in, uh, in this uh, development because it, it gave us a lot of uh, answers before physical prototypes and we could iterate uh, in digital world uh, all the solutions that we were developing. Competitiveness was also a strong motive in our project, which is not the case in all innovation projects. And as key automotive supplier, it is our job to design uh, products that are compatible with the reality of the market and the expectation of the OEM customers. And in this project, to, to do this, we did a lot of costing design reviews to be as much cost effective as possible. We killed a lot of things, but at the end we saw that we managed to maintain just the essential of the products and we just got purified designs.